Hello everyone. Today we are going to see the adjoint matrix. Let we have given matrix A, which is a square matrix. Then its adjoint matrix is given by this adjoint of A, and it is equals to transpose of cofactor matrix. Now we know that if we have given matrix A and that is a n square matrix, we can find its cofactor matrix. Now let's see with the cofactor matrix for this matrix A. Then adjoint of A is given by transpose of cofactor matrix, right? Now let here we have find this is C as a cofactor matrix where this is C I J. These are the cofactors of A I J, right? Then its cofactor matrix C is given by here. Then what is adjoint matrix? It is given by transpose of this cofactor matrix. That means we have to interchange rows and columns so we will get required adjoint matrix for matrix a now we can see one example here of order 3 by 3 here so we have to find here cofactor matrix okay so what we have to do first here first we will find minus of all these elements we know that minus are denoted by This M I J. This is for element A I J. So we will find one by one minor here. So how to get this first minor for this element? Yes. How to get this is here? We have to write. This is the indeterminate. This is what we have to write element. This four zero six one by excluding this element. In which that element lies. So one lies here in first one, first column. So we have to exclude this element. Remaining element we have to write here. Okay. So now this is two by two determinant, and we know how to solve this one here. So how to solve this is here. This is four minus. This is here zero. So we get here this is four. Similarly, we will find next minor. How to find next minor here for this a12? How to write here? This two element lies in here first row and second column. This is here first row and second column. So we will exclude this element and we will write remaining element here three zero minus two one. On simplification, we will get here this is three. Similarly, we will find m13. M13 minor for this element, this minus one. So this minor here obtained by excluding first row and third column. So remaining element here, this is here three four minus two six. Okay. So what is simplification of this one here? This is yes. Similarly, we will find M. This is what M21. Okay, so I am to one. This is excluding second row, first column. So here we have to write next. We will write M two two M two two by excluding second row, second column. So we have here one minus one minus two one. So here we get here. This is minus one. Similarly, we will write next minor. This is m two three. M two three excluding this second row and third column. So remaining element here. This is one two minus two six. Okay. So what is simplification? This is here. We get ten. Now similarly, we will find minor for this third row. So we will write here M31. So how to get M31? Excluding this third row and first column. So remaining here we have two minus one four zero. Simplification of this one here we get 
this is m31 so this is 0 and this minus minus get plus this is 4 here m32 m32 this is excluding what is here excluding third row and second column so we will write here second excluding second column 1 minus 1 and 3 2 and excluding this one so we get here 3 0 that means here minus minus get plus here yes now next minor for this one so what we have to do we have to exclude this and this one so remaining element we have to write in determinant what is simplification of this one this is 4 minus 6 that means here minus 2 okay so what we have done we have find all minus for these nine elements now next we have to find cofactor cofactor for all element this is for a i j for all these nine elements and how to find we know that we have this relation for finding cofactor c i j is equals to minus one raised to this is i plus j into that minor okay so how to get this first minor this is c11 we have to write this is i and j is equals to 1 1 so we will write here this is 1 plus 1 into minor of that one okay so c11 is equals to this is minus 1 raised to 2 that means that is e1 power of minus 1 so that get plus here so we get here this one similarly we get here c12 so minus of that minor of that element a12 right okay so, we know that here this cofactors and minus are related by this plus minus sign. So, for our convenience, we have write cofactor sign matrix here. So, plus is for when here i plus j is e1, right? And when this is sign odd, when this i plus j is odd here, this is i here, okay. Now, we will find all cofactors by using all these minus and these signs here. So, we will write here C11. C11, this is here by using this one. So, we have to take this plus sign here. So, C11 is here 4, then C12. C12, so this is here negative, then C 1 3 this is again c 1 3 that means we have to write this plus sign here plus of minor so that means that is plus then c 2 1 c 2 1 we get here this is negative so minus of this minor then c 2 2 so this is here plus c 2 2 here we have minus 1 plus of that minor then next this is c 2 3 2 3 that means that is a negative here Okay, and negative of this minor, that means here this is minus 10. Now next, C31. Okay, C31, that means 3 plus 1 here, that is 4. That means this is here. So what is here? This one. So this is plus, plus of this minor, that is 4. Then C32, C32, that means negative of this one and this is C33, so positive of this one, so this is, okay. Now we have write down all cofactors. So, now we have to write here cofactor matrix by collecting all these cofactors. So, we will write this is as a C. We have to write all these elements in one matrix. Okay, C11, this position here we will write here C11. Then C12, then C13, next C21, C22, C23, next this is here C31, this is here, then this one, C33, this is here minus 2. So we get here cofactor matrix of order 3 by 3, right? Next we want adjoint of this matrix A here, right? So, how to get this adjunct of this matrix? What we have to do? We have to take transpose of matrix C. That means, what we have to do here? We have to 
interchange rows into columns okay so we will write all these rows here in columns so this is we have write down first row in first column then second row in second column right then this is third row in third column so this is here yes so we get here this is transpose okay so this is required adjunct of a this is what transpose of this cofactor matrix so this is required what we have find here for finding adjunct of a first we have find all the minors of nine elements by using this relation we have find all cofactors then we have put all cofactors in one matrix after that we have taken transpose of that cofactor matrix to get this adjoint matrix so this is all about adjoint matrix thank you